Hi, I'm Mark Bachman from the Fly Fishing Shop in Welch's, Oregon. I learned something new on the river the other day, fishing for trout with a good client of mine by the name of Rusty Moen. We were uh, Euro nymph fishing on the Deschutes and he had a piece of fly line backing on his leader and he was using it as a cider. And I said, what do you call that, Rusty? He says, that's a backing barrel. I said, where'd you learn that? From a fellow by the name of, of Dominic Schwentoski. Has a website, little blog, you know, on the East Coast called Trout Bitten. I said, let me take a look at that. And basically all it was was a nail knot on his leader that he could slide up and down, you know, for depth and that kind of stuff like that. And it would tell him, you know, when he had a bite. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So there's a number of pieces of equipment that you're going to need to perform this backing barrel as your cider. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some backing, which comes now in a myriad of different colors, but probably bright orange is probably the best. And you're going to need something to use as a nail knot tire. I prefer one with a very small diameter barrel. So what I've done is I've taken this long stem basketball needle and I've taken a file and I've cut the end of it off. Here's my nail knot tire. Here's my leader, which in this case is a piece of 20 pound test fluorocarbon. But I knew that you'd never see the real fine stuff like we trout fish with in the picture, so I'm using this. And now I'm just gonna take my cider material I'm going to go around and around this thing about six times. There's three, four, five, six. And of course this one to crawl underneath it, but I'm not going to let it. Okay. Now we're just simply going to wet this and stick it down the fine long stem basketball needle. And we're going to put it out the other end. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that like that and then we're just going to pull on that and take the, the basketball needle clear out of the clear out of the picture. Okay. And here we go. Tightening that down. I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll it in my hands. Spread it out. Pull on both ends of that. Now, you, on this thing here, you don't want to pull it down real, real tight. Or believe me, you're not even going to be able to move it. You can actually pull this thing so tight that you won't be able to move it on your on your monofilament. That's about right. I'm going to pull both ends of this thing down. Grab it here, like so, like that. I'm going to take my, my scissors and I'm going to cut it off. And there you are. There is the backing barrel. You can slide it up and down your leader, put it wherever you need it. And believe me, this thing makes no disturbance on the water, but it's really visible, especially at the ranges that you're going to be your own nymph fishing. There's always somebody coming up with something really good. And this is one of them. Try it. Use it. You'll like it.